What's up, branches? Uh, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, fasted cardio. So what is fasted cardio? So, all right, when you are undertaking a weight loss program or um, undertaking some weight loss efforts, one of the things that you're likely to do, and one of the great things actually about the information age, is that we have a lot of information available to us. So you um, are very likely to go out and start researching different ways that you can uh, effectively burn fat and, and lose weight. Well, um, if that is something that you're doing, then one of the things that you're very likely to encounter in your searching is fasted cardio. So the principle basically is this. Uh, you wake up after a period of fasting, right? Don't eat when you sleep. Um, but you wake up and, and immediately do your cardio exercise. A lot of people will say, you know, drink a cup of coffee, get some caffeine in you um, to give you some energy. Uh, but basically, without eating, you are doing your cardio. So um, that's, that's the idea. Um, the principle behind it is basically that uh, it's actually twofold. Number one, fat oxidizes faster when, when insulin is low. And the second thing is that insulin levels are influenced by your glucose levels, uh, which rise after you eat. So um, with fasted cardio, if you have that lower glucose level, you'll have a lower insulin level. And therefore, again, by principle um, or by theory, your fat will oxidize faster and you will burn more fat faster by doing your cardio without having eaten or i.e. fasted cardio. So here's my take on it. Initially when I heard about this idea I thought it made perfect sense. Um, if you don't have you know the the sugars from the carbohydrates that you've eaten or things like that in your body you've got um, uh, your body naturally is going to go to the next level of energy which is either going to be your um, your fat or your muscle right so again my take again is it made sense initially right then I started kind of thinking about it and, and, and what came to mind for me was that well if I burn my fat store now and then I eat after I exercise well I'm probably gonna store that anyways I'm, I'm the, whatever carbohydrates um, or or what have you that I ingest after exercising is going to raise my glucose levels at that point. Um, the insulin's going to kick in and it's going to store what it needs to store. So um, in my mind, again, I'm not an expert. I'm not a professional um, dietitian or registered or anything like that by any means, but I'm capable of using common sense, right? So my common sense tells me that if I don't store it now, it's possible that I'm going to store it later. Or if I burn it now, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to store more again at a slightly later point in the day. So I did a little bit of, of reading up and I'm going to share a link with you. It'll be down in the description. So make sure to scroll down and click on this link. Um, but I did a little bit of research and uh, basically f found out that there's a lot of studies that have been done about this, right? But again, you always want to do your research, right? And so there's been a lot of studies into fasted cardio. Does it burn more fat? Um, is it healthy for you? Can it be negative? Can it be bad for you? And the answer is everybody is different and everybody is different. So if you had checked out my uh, one of my latest blog posts, um, that is one of the things that I talked about, right? So that this is another principle that you will hear as you are researching uh, fitness and nutrition. Everybody is different and everybody is different. And what that simply means is that what works for you may not work for everybody else and what works for other people may not necessarily work for you. So getting back to the studies that have been done, basically they have set up controls where they um, had people eat before cardio and had people not eat or do fasted cardio and they kind of measured the results and basically what they found was that both groups had on average about the same level of weight loss or fat loss. So what does that mean? 
Well, the conclusion that can be drawn from this type of study is basically that what matters is your activity levels. So both of these groups, the fasted group and the fed group, had prescribed cardio exercises, prescribed workouts that they were to do. And upon completing them, um, and after you know this, the, the time period of the study, they, they basically took their weight and uh, body mass index before and did the same thing for uh, at the end of the study and that was what they found. Um, you're gonna burn fat by increasing your activity levels and monitoring your diet. That was the other thing they controlled as well was besides the fasted part, um, uh, the fasted versus fed, um, the diets were uh, that were prescribed for the study were the same, right? So um, they're taking in the same amount of calories and based on the exercise that they're doing, of course, intensity levels can differ and things like that. But um, by following those plans and by having two groups, not of just uh, one person versus one person, but multiple people in one group versus multiple people in the other group, you're going to be able to find more reliable results. So after hearing about these studies, what do I think about it now? Again, by no means am I a, a registered dietitian or nutritionist, but what I would say is, again, everybody and everybody is different. So if this is something that you think might work for you, I would suggest after, after consulting with a medical professional that you try it. Uh, either it's something that is going to work for you and you might see positive results, or you don't. If you don't, stop. Go back to what you were doing. Go, go find something else that's going to be effective for you and, 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 and do that. Your ultimate goal is to become the you that you want to be or to maintain the you, the, 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 the best version of you that you want to be. Do your research. Do a lot of trial and error. Find out what works for you and optimize that. You are not always going to, to, to be able to follow the directions of somebody else or the example of somebody else. Find out what works for you and stick with that. Make it better. Take it to the next level. But you won't know if you don't try. That's one thing that I will always keep in my mind is that if I don't try it, I'll never know. So there are some things that I am willing to try and some things that I am not. Um, those things that I am not are things that... There probably is a lot of research out there or studies that show that it's, it's either ineffective um, or that it can be unhealthy. That's, those are the two things that I will, will uh, the one thing I absolutely will, will not do is, is, is try anything that has been proven to be unhealthy. But there are things that may be controversial um, and could, be, could go one way or the other, but if it's not something that has been proven to be unhealthy, I may go ahead and give it a shot. All right, so that's my take on fasted cardio. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it with uh, everybody you know, um, especially anyone who is trying to lose weight, trying to burn fat. Um, check out my blog at www.truevine-fitness.com. Visit me on Facebook, visit me on Instagram. And as always, have faith and do fitness.